That's a good girl. All right, so this is our new place. And this is a tiny home. So this is our kitchen. And as you can tell, there's a door to the other part of the barn, but we're not going in there. I'm just gonna show you, this is our sink. This is our tiny little stove. And it even has an oven, like that. And there's a space here, we're gonna put a shelf over here. She gave us a space heater though. And then this is, if I close the door, like this. We can see the, the double door system like this. And just to give an idea of how big it is, Meg is doing her arm's length. I think my arm and span is like 64 inches. It's slightly she's got a 64 inch arm span. There's a, it's, it's slightly, my arm span's an inch longer than my arm. Now this magnetic um, music board is not normally blocking the view of the shop, but there's a shop building right here. And then there's a mirror on the wall and there's an air conditioning unit that the Australian contractor made this space installed here. Okay. Now there's a heater in the wall right here. And then this is the laundry. It's a stacked unit like that by Whirlpool. There's a washer down here and a dryer up top. And these are the controls. And these are reusable laundry balls that have minerals inside. Okay, this is the door to the outside. And then this is the walk-in tub shower unit, like this. Has a bath fan up here. You can see it's brand new. Everything's very clean. It has jacuzzi settings for the bath, because this was originally designed to be a spa or masseuse studio. And then if we go over here, this is... It has a lighting system that you can turn on different colors that are multicolor. That's fun. Mm-hmm. And then the water bed. But don't press that, that yet. And then, um, cause we gotta purge, it's on septic system. Here's the sink and there's um, under storage and for under the paper. sink for toilet paper and bath toiletries. toiletries. There's a little cabinet here and there's an outdoor LED lighting unit that I have to install outside. If we go outside real quick. I'll show you. That would be for that right there. We're gonna put a, a lamp right there where those wires are. All right, inside here, there's actually a sky tube. Oh yeah, that's cool. So if I go like this and adjust the lighting, you can see that the sunlight, and this is very high brightness, but if we get it like this, pretty. it makes some chromatic distortion, but it's really, pretty natural lighting. And that's how we're able to see in here without the artificial lights on. Um, there's also a cabinet back here where we can store toiletries and towels and washcloths and stuff. Um, so that's it. And this is technically a masseuse table, but we're going to be building a loft bed in here. So we should just put the masseuse table in here. So now that we removed the masseuse table, I'm gonna give you a wide angle look at the room here. And Meg will be here for scale, like this. So she lies down on the ground. She's five feet, three inches tall. So we can tell that there's an additional three feet this way, or it's about eight feet wide. Okay. Now if Meg lays the other way, You'll see. Oh, oh okay, give me a hand, okay. Then here, pull my hand. Oh, you're gonna do it that way, okay. You can see if she lays the other way with her head up against the wall, it's a little bit longer than two megs. So we know that the room's about 12 feet long. I think it's 14. It might be about 14 feet long. So that makes um, about eight by 14 in here. About eight by eight in there, and the bathroom's about eight by 10. And so the total square feet, roughly speaking, is a little over 200 square feet. But the price is right. We're currently paying 3,508, and this is only 1,200 plus Comcast or 1,270. 
And we would have never chosen an anthology, but my mother needed a caretaker, so we moved in with her to take care of her. And they, they even have matching shelves, so there's an extra shelf that matches this shelf on the wall. And she gave us this one in case we wanted to do a matching shelf. But we're just in, we're gonna note that the screen has a little glyph in it right here. I don't know if you can see that. We just make a new screen for that. And it's open right now to bring fresh air in. All right. Lots of, lots of high... A lot of high-mounted outlets here and here. And then another one here. And then one right here. And then in the kitchen, there's one right here for the refrigerator. There's one up here like this. Probably one, I would think, behind the... I don't know if there's one behind the stove, but oh yeah, it's plugged into the stove. Okay. And then... The has at least one double unit. It's actually a lot of plugs for the amount of space. I think it's just that one plus one. The bathroom has one right here above the sink. Oh, we can show this too. I did. I already showed that one. Oh, you did? Yeah, we showed that one. Okay. So there it is. That's our, our new tiny home. And we're going to be living here for an indeterminate amount of time. As a bridge to our next place after this, whenever that is. And, uh, I think too, in terms of space. Yeah, this, the bunk bed will conserve space. And so we were going to put our queen size bed in here, our, but it would, if you see the doorway, 60 inches brings it out past here, which would make a narrow gap. And so if we put the TV over here, it would be leaving like we'd have to inch through here like this. And so instead, what we're going to do is we're going to put a bunk bed, and you'll see that later in the video, up against the wall. Be this is Amber the dog. Be yeah. Oh, look at that dust. We're taking a dust. There. That's a nice doggy. Yeah. yeah. Good girl. She's a beautiful good dog. Girl. Look at how pretty yeah. she is. She's a beautiful yeah. doggy. Okay. Yeah, and she wags her tail because she's friendly. Hi, Amber. Yeah. You're a good yeah. girl. We love you. Yeah. Good, good, yeah. Good, good baby. Oh, she wants to smell me. See? Yeah. Yeah.